Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Castle Story. In between the last and this episode I completed or almost completed the roof for our house, our storage inn. I think I still need to leave the sides open so that I can actually have a look at my crates right here. I've also made a pretty good sized place right here because I decided I'm gonna go with a different strategy. Now this here is just for niceness and because I did have a lot of stone you know at my disposal but what I kind of want to attempt is make a tunnel. Well not actually a tunnel it's more gonna be like a hallway. So the enemies will be going through a certain pathway I'm dedicating for them. And in the meantime, my guys can choose different pathways. So let's say for instance, I'm gonna establish a hallway right here and I'm just gonna ensure that the enemies need to go into the hallway. Then they will be going all the way through here directly into the trap. And the trap of course being my defense right here. Also, I've been uh, continuing here on the top, as you can see. Something I realized is that during the nighttime, we actually have a better frame rate. So that is something to consider. But other than that, we're just continuing with all the projects at this point. So maybe let's think about this hallway thingy majingy. I would prefer uh, to make something here. Let me see. We would need to join up two hallways, maybe. Now, how wide do I have to make this? Oh, man. It's not gonna be easy. It also might not look very well, but let's see. What if we just went into this direction? That could be good. So this could be one side and the whole way we make like three wide or maybe let's make it four wide just to be sure. So there you go. And if we make this two in height, then we should be absolutely fine. Let's actually already do that. Gonna make this two in height. But there we go. So now what we have to do is kind of wall this off. For instance, right here, we could do it. And this would mean the people that are coming from here would maybe naturally go through here because this one is open. They don't have to destroy anything. And that means all the mobs are going to be going into the same direction. And then for instance, right here, we can leave a gap open and we do the same thing into the other direction. Let's actually see. We could do it right here, maybe up to this point. Yeah, probably right here. We want to have another crossing. That could be a good idea. I just hope this works. This is going to be a ginormous building project. So now we would probably go into this direction and let me see. Well, for the time being, we could keep it a little bit smaller. So maybe we start walling off this area. First of all, no, that is going to be such an agonizing project to build. We might actually sacrifice a couple of guys. I will have to keep an eye on them. Now, let's see if we bring it to this point, I think think we should be good. Can I actually add one here? It doesn't look like. Maybe we can add a small block. Yeah, right there. Yeah, I mean, this should theoretically be enough. Now, where would we have the gap? Right here, of course. We still need some empty space. Hmm, I'm not quite feeling it just yet. How do we want to do it with this pathway? That is kind of an issue. Oh, I actually made this a little bit too big. What a shame. What a freaking shame. Okay, so how about that for the time being? We can wall this part off like so. Just add a block here and there. And this would maybe make the enemies go into this part. Maybe we can even leave this out for the time being. It's better to have like a test phase for this ginormous pathway. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Let's go ahead and uh, commit to this task. Holy cow. We're almost done with the roof here. I think we do have enough materials. Uh, what seems to be the hold up? Ah, we do not have any stone at the moment. Let me see, where is my clearing task? The landscaping here. We of course want to continue landscaping a tiny little bit. I would suggest we start right here with the foresty area. This is gonna give us quite a bit of stone as well. Now, can we actually spawn another guy? I think I'm still respawning the guys that died, unfortunately. Are we done with the building here? I kind of want to make this entire wall in stone. I also made a wooden floor here, by the way. This was kind of agonizing to do, but we still managed to do it. Um, let me see, is something ha- Oh my freaking gosh, that is not good. Not good, not good. Come on, come on, run. Let me actually grab my guys. Let me grab my warriors for the time being and let me see. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Come on, attack this guy and everyone right here, you need to flee. 
Go flee for your lives! I don't even know how he made it up there. Not so sure what is happening, but my warriors are on their merry way. Of course, they are slightly slow at the moment. But let's go for this guy here. And of course, Janice, you shouldn't get involved. No, sir. And Golf, you are an idiot to think you can do anything about him. Okay, I got my four warriors right there. I'm not sure. I think they might have destroyed this block right here. So maybe we just make it one higher still. So this doesn't happen anymore. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, don't don't fall over the cliff. Jeez. Okay, okay, we're good. <laughs> tuba, Tuba, get out of the way. Oh no, Tuba! I regret nothing! Oh, Basil also fell. <laughs> oh man, this is too hilarious. Maybe I should have... Oh no, they're killing all my guys! You know what? I'm kind of tempted to restart at the point where we started. I mean, so annoying. <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, let me restart. All right, there we go. We're back where we started. This is still intact. Very, very good. Now, I'm not sure what exactly we did, but I want to go on with this uh, project, definitely with this uh, hallway project. I'm just gonna call it the Great Hallway of Bricktron. But uh, this time, maybe let's do it a little bit differently. Uh, we're gonna start right here. Let me see, uh, do I have to go lower? Yes, indeed. There we go, and I think right here I want to take the curve. Okay, so we start with that. We make it one, two, three, four wide. Let's make sure we have the exact same setup. And then we're gonna do it step by step. So the first step is gonna be we're gonna force them to go into this hallway and kind of come from this side. So this is gonna be our point of interest right here. I like that. And we're gonna do this one first. Now, maybe we can actually combine this with a landscaping task. This is not very good here. Though, this way we are kind of raising the terrain. I rather lower it. Ah, I think I got it. There we go. Now we're going lower. Great! This way we can place all of the shebang we want. And we exactly know where we want to place this hallway. Yeah, we really have to do it step by step. This guy here just remains stationary and uh, he's now killing off my guys one by one. So that proves to be kind of frustrating at the moment. I don't know what to think about that. Uh, and then they are just standing around, getting themselves killed. I mean, he's just standing there, Bashir. He's not even doing his task, just waiting for his death, basically. <laughs> I hate that I love this game sometimes. There are fun times and less fun times. Oh, come on, guys, do this a little bit faster. I want to be at least a little bit successful today. That would be absolutely amazing. I think we can actually move this a tiny little bit. Yeah, let's move it up to here. That ought to be good. So how many died? I think one person died. Yeah, that's fine. I can live with that. Uh-oh, uh, uh, oh, we got a big guy. We got a big guy coming. Ah, uh, shoot him. Okay, at least my archers are going for it. That means he's not gonna destroy my guys forever. Oh, jeez. But you guys, you really don't know how to get to safety. Man, sometimes. I know I'm complaining a lot, but I really, really want this game to be perfect. And I have to say, frame rate, of course, look at this. Frame rate is unacceptable. The next thing is just there is no mode where I really like the Corruptrons. In sandbox mode, where you don't have any Corruptrons, it's not challenging and you can only build. I I do want the fighting element still in place. Then in the normal survival mode you get the enemies in waves. Maybe that is a little bit better but then the waves get worse and worse and worse until you cannot handle it anymore basically. So I figured conquest mode might be the best for me but in conquest mode you're being attacked consistently and you're not safe outside your wall. The enemies are making the game lag, they make a mess and they are only partially fun. So we really have to find a way to still enjoy this and this is why I think the hallway project might be just our savior. If I manage to pull it off, then I have a good feeling. So maybe let's think about how we can wall this off properly. Oh man, what's in the way here? There's nothing in the way. Now oh, we need the block on the bottom first. That's fine, we can provide that. Now let me see, um, I want a wall right here, so we can make this secure. Yes, that is gonna be good. So the enemies can come in here, and then I guess we will have to do a third one here. 
Hmm, yeah, because we're not gonna be quite high enough, would we? Let's maybe start with the other side of the wall. This would go up to this point, preventing enemies from taking this path. And here we just uh, wrap it up, I guess. Gonna bring this here and of course we're being attacked again. Nobody's reacting the way they're supposed to, but at least they have something to do. Oh no, I just realized the pathway is only three wide. Hopefully that is enough for the big guys. Let's actually already go ahead and do the flooring. Let me see, we would need to do it like so. So it kind of adds up, looking nice and tiled, you know. Here we're gonna add a staircase, I guess. Something along these lines, and then we just wrap it up. Okay, it is about 10 to 15 minutes or so later. Slowly but surely, it's coming along. We're gathering some more stone again. So at the moment I expanded the digging job to go into this direction because that's exactly what we want to do with our pathway and we just see what happens basically. If we do this step by step, I think this is the key to success with this strategy. Let me actually set up yet another landscaping task. I kind of would like to even out this terrain. Now this is uh, too low, right? No, this is actually perfect. This is exactly what we want. We want to start right here, of course and kind of make this even as well. Let me see, we can actually drag this even further, something like that. Of course, with the rate we're using it, we need more and more stone. Yeah, this is gonna be great. This way we can actually kind of access this part as well. And since we've built a wall right here, we are still blocking it off from the outside. That means we can theoretically get rid of these guys. I don't need them anymore. I'm gonna raise this entire platform by one block. On the other side, we should hopefully be able to finish this off. Two blocks here. Let me see, we can fit one here and then the last one. Ah, it's uh, getting daytime once again. Didn't realize I wasted another half an hour or so. Just waiting for the guys to get on with this. Now we at least have one condition true, which is the enemies can only really go to my castle or my stuff using this pathway. Other than that, they will have to punch through at least one wall. Whoa, oh, we're under attack. No, we're good. Pathetic attempt. I shouldn't jinx it, actually. Okay, so far my defense seems to be working out. Of course, at the moment they can still sneak through here. I wonder when they will finally place this last block. But other than that, they came through here. Sometimes they started attacking the blocks, but I'm not sure if they're gonna do it if it's too far away from any of my guys. Are they gonna ignore the blocks if nobody is nearby is the question. If they just attempt to pathfind the quickest way. But generally, I have a good feeling about this. I'm calling this episode step by step and the next one is hopefully going to be the Great Wall of Britron. Now, this guy, I'm not sure what he has in mind. Okay, he's going for the block here. Well, that is not good. Though we might be able to repair it in time. But that is exactly one of the things that I wanted to avoid. I'm not sure why he did that. Let's see what this guy is doing. Is he coming through here? Yeah, it looks like they do some sort of pathfinding at least. Now, at the moment we are repairing this, so I think we're always going to be faster in repairing this than he is in destroying it. But still, I want to make a third layer just in case. Just in case they manage to break one block, for instance. Now, this guy... Ah, okay, he's chipping away at this block. Well, do I have a repair command here? No. Let's try to grab our warriors. Do I have them all? Yes. And we're gonna try to lure this guy over. Now, I hope the longer I make the pathway, the more reliable it's gonna be. Because if they enter the pathway already here, then I think they're just gonna stick with the pathway. Right here, of course, if they end up here, then it might be reasonable for them to start breaking apart a couple of blocks. But yeah, let's also take care of this guy and then of course they had to succeed destroying stuff here. That's not appreciated. Let's try to rebuild this and I guess we have to add yet another repair task. Let's add another repair task right here just over this hallway. Yeah, this should be good. This should be covering most of the stuff. Good, we're done with this guy. That means we are gonna bring our warriors back where they belong. All right, guys, so I think with that out of the way, I'm actually going to wrap it up. I'm gonna try to expand this pathway a little bit more so we can see at the beginning of the next episode whether or not this plan is actually working. 
I have a good feeling about this. I feel like if they enter the hallway right here, they're all gonna be following it. And we have an easy game as of this point. But there's still gonna be a lot of work, of course, and hopefully sooner or later we're gonna be done with this part and then also we hopefully will be able to take care of our FPS problem a little bit more once we can push the Corruptrons back. But with that out of the way, thank you very much for watching, have a great time and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye bye.